This is a Real Ghost Stories Online Extra. How you doing, Tony? Uh, my name is Sean Stewart. I'm uh, originally from Upper East Tennessee, and uh, I grew up in a haunted house. Um, the house had uh, been vacant for many years before my parents bought it, and um, with moving in, it sort of had a darkness about it. It was uh, strange, but the even with lights on in the house, it seemed to have a strange darkness about it. Um, it had been previously um, owned by a woman. I um, will not leave the name so that it doesn't um, say anything about the family. Um, when we did move in, I noticed that the clawfoot bathtub that was in the uh, one bathroom uh, had been scrubbed to the point that the um, actual uh, finish was coming off down to the bottom. Um, I was the only one uh, in the family, I was a child, I was 12 years old, um, to uh, use the bathtub that night. And uh, the next day, coming home from school, I noticed that there was a brand new bathtub, and my parents had updated the bathroom uh, overnight. I had no idea why. Um, later in life, I was told uh, the story that the lady had indeed committed suicide, and her uh, daughter had found her uh, in the bathtub after several days. And so we got uh, decomposition in the bathtub. Uh, before knowing this and knowing anything about the house, and uh, I didn't know this story until I was an adult, there was um, strange things that would happen. Um, cold spots throughout the house, uh, doors that would open and close. Um, and at night, uh, coming from the back room of the house, um, which I found out later was where this lady spent her last years, um, you would hear the rustling of paper and get the feeling that someone was actually standing in the darkness just out of arm's reach staring at you. Um, I got confirmation that there was something strange going on. I was uh, actually home on leave uh, from the Marine Corps, uh, sitting in the living room, um, midday, parents gone, and I was just watching some television. And from the back bedroom, I heard, what can only be described as the stuffing of house shoes, something like a house shoe or slipper, uh, coming from the back be uh, room into the kitchen. The um, It came into the room, stopped after about seven steps, took two further steps as if it was turning and just stopped. At this point, my parents' uh, dog, which was a uh, wiener dog, a dachshund, was going nuts and uh, actually um, you know, barking um, and hackles up um, at the door of the kitchen, but was not going into the kitchen. Um, I, the big tough Marine, <laughs> Uh, was sitting in the chair at this point in a very upright position. Um, every indicator that the uh, place was, uh, something was going on, hackles on the back of my neck, hair standing up, and thinking to myself, if something comes around the corner and the eyesight, I'm going to jump out a window. I um, actually went out and sat on the front porch until my parents got home. Um, I was told after this event the story of the lady that had indeed uh, committed suicide because her husband had left her. And I had felt for many, 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 many years that the house was indeed um, haunted in one way or another. And uh, this proved it to me. Um, to this day, the um, entity in the house um, still resides there. My daughter, eldest daughter, is the owner of the home now. 
And she says that she has a, um, a bit of a uh, detente with the uh, spirit. She doesn't bother it. And whenever it decides to um, make itself known, she goes about um, just um, sort of ignoring it and letting it do whatever. So uh, that's the story of the uh, haunted house, which is located in Johnson City, Tennessee. I do have another one that is much more detailed, um, actually much more, um, I would say, um, personal from the standpoint of not only seeing apparitions, but having apparitions um, that you could not see touching you. Um, there were lots of audible noises, lots of um, visuals, and um, the house was indeed um, that I lived, this house I lived in, um, was so active that um, I left after two years. Um, I'll call at some other point and uh, give you that one. But that one is actually located in Washington State. So um, anyway, if you enjoyed the story, and I hope you did, I'm um, very happy to share the other one with you. And um, if you ever feel like you want to give me a call, uh, please do. Uh, I look forward to hearing from you. Um, I myself have been a, um, a bit of a... Um, parapsychological um, interest uh, person for many, many years, um, done much research, um, and I myself have, um, you know, to this day here in my home, uh, I'm 62 years of age now at this point, but I, uh, you know, have um, devices and such, uh, millimeters and such to uh, actually uh, do some investigation whenever I, um, you know, think I, that I wish to. So you take care. You have a beautiful day. God bless. And um, uh, hopefully talk to you soon. Bye-bye. If you want access to more Real Ghost Stories, become a premium subscriber to Real Ghost Stories online. Sign up now through Apple Podcasts and try it for three days free. Not on Apple? Go to patreon.com slash realghoststories or ghostpodcast.com.